the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. Hey. I know you'll enjoy this this, sec, this session that we had this week. Uh, I have broken it down in parts, part A through B or C or E. <laughs> but the bottom line is, we talk about the fact is that Jesus walked Christians. And the fact is that the God of this world has blinded the minds of non-believers. So we need to be able to teach the gospel in Yeshua's way. And show everybody that we are working. We're no longer blinded. We are supposed to be able to preach the gospel, spread that light so that others can see. Rise and shine for the light has come. Enjoy the segment. I know you'll love each part that comes up. Uh, about two hours we did the whole thing. So we broke it down in you know 25 seconds and so forth so that you can enjoy. I thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week. And remember, Yeshua. Which is the trans, which is the Hebrew name for Jesus, is Lord. Amen. God bless you, and I see you when I see you. Bye bye. Yeah, Glory, there's a rest of it to finish that little section one through nine anyway. So it says, even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith. Mm. The same are the children of Abraham. Wow. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify heathen, heathen. through faith, heathen. preached okay. before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. All nations. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Meaning the heathens, right? Then that goes, that's the same as being ungodly, right? Yeah. Christ died for the ungodly. And all the, and the what, what, what has been bewitched has been called to hide and hid the gospel. Because that's what I'm interested about that scripture, about the fact is, like I said, handling the word deceitfully. And you know, that's why people get mad about the prosperity ministry. It's like you're deceiving people. You, yeah. you, yeah, and I'm not putting down the prosper. We want people to prosper. I think the whole body should prosper, though. Yeah. yeah but it's, not it's, just it's, like it's, if it's unequal, equally yoked, then there's mm. an issue with it. Because if if you're a lure to be a Christian is to be prosperous, then you've missed the mark. And then and there lies mammon. Mm. Okay, so you can't be drawn by mammon because when mammon runs away or runs out or is threatened, then who's your God? Who's your God? It's almost like that black leather that, 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 that Wall Street when it fell the, in the 30s and people, oh, people jumped were off. Jumping out of skyscraper windows, Woo. jumping off of buildings, stepping off of uh, platforms onto train tracks, mm. shooting themselves, mm. poisoning Deep. themselves because of them putting their faith in money. And how many of those people actually raising their hand in church? Or yes. these sitting? But see, sitting. But that's, that's, that has been the appeal. They may not call it money, but, but wealth, uh, uh, being able to to have things has become the God, mm. Mm. you know, and and, yeah. and worshiping uh, Yeshua, worshiping God by accepting Yeshua and allowing the the Holy Spirit to actually bring the truth in. It it it, it Ooh, we're getting man. away from that. Yeah, it's, so, it's so simple, but we, it is. Like, it's so difficult because we try to tie this world, the, the, you know, prosperity and, and joy mm. and, and, and to, to 
to the gospel. That's that. That is a a byproduct yes. of living this life. You know, it is. It should not be the focus, and it's always made the focus. It did. It did. You know, it, it, how, why? Why is is uh, uh, tithes and offering so important? that it outweighs faith. How can it uh, outweigh it? Even the commandments of the law. Yeah. I mean, you can't sit there and say you follow the law and you're doing what you're doing. You're hiding the truth. You're deceiving people. You're telling people, I God told me five people out here supposed yeah. to give me a thousand dollars. So what did you bring it up? Bring it up and you know God told you. I ain't the pretty boss said, I didn't think God told me about no thousand dollars that till she maybe God just told me to give a thousand dollars because I got a thousand dollars. But the the, the the thing I really look at is just the because you're right, he has blinded the minds. Uh, where it there's no excuse for the the vision of even this country right now. Uh, but it's been rooted in deceptions, bewitchment blindness for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since, since, since the foundation of, of this country uh, hmm. under the leadership of European, there, wow. there's been straight deception. There's death been deception. Straight, it, it's been nothing but death, deception, it's, and on the vainness too. It's just vain. Anybody put their trust in the flesh, brother Asher, it's just vain. Vain glory. Uh, but that's what we're going to say, because we're going to wrap it up. Because the fact is, that's what we say we got to wait. I'm going to change the title. And I'm going to say, Christians need to be woke. Just say wake up. Just call wake, wake up. I know it does sound like that. Wake up. And look, the scripture, look, I'm going to read this to you. So the, this right here is the fact here. We, as believers, saints, need to wake up. I like that's a good word, right? Because that goes with this. I feel this goes with this scripture, right? It says, this is Isaiah 60. You, I had you read this many times over here at this time. It says, rise and shine. To, to, to rise means that you must be asleep. You must be lying down. This says, rise and shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. That means that's every believer from the day of Pentecost. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee if you are in Christ. Because you're not in Christ, you're not. Read the rest. I mean, this is important. This is, wow. Read it to us, brother. Go ahead. Read it to us. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And what they talk about. And gross darkness. The gross darkness. Yes. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles mm. shall come to thy light, yes. and keys to the brightness of thy horizon. Come on now. Lift up thine eyes around about, and see. All they gather themselves together. Come on. Come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy at thy side. At thy side. Then thou shalt see mm. and flow together. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because mm. the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. Yes. The forces of the Gentiles shall come, shall come unto to thee. thee. Because they see your light. Yeah. They see not something hidden in craftiness or dishonesty. They see something that's, that's, that's unique, unfortunately, and they, they're drawn toward it. That's what they, they I think it was one of the Romans uh, 8, wasn't it? That the whole creation moaneth and groan for the manifestation of the sons of God. Because we're gonna see it like, I ain't never seen this before. They, they almost be the brother has to get to the point where they're gonna say, brother has I ain't never seen him like that. I ain't never seen that before. He's real. He's, he, he's living it. It's not just he's talking it. He's living it. And that's when we want to get to the point, believe me, that let our light shine. Our light shine by being honest. 
I like shining about that being uh, handling the word with deceit and craftiness. The God in this world has blinded the minds. God is saying you the light in that dark. Because that blindness refers to darkness, isn't it? They, 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 that basically what it refers to. But he's saying is you be light so they can see a darkness. And, and, and it's that gross darkness that's covered. Now I'll go back to back in, in Genesis. You know, the Holy Spirit hovered over the earth. Yeah. The darkness is covered there. So we a lot of things we think of things, we think about the absence of light. <laughs> He's talking about the absence of the glory of God. So wake up, Christians. This is the time for us to rise and shine for the light has come. Because we can't be bewitched anymore. We can't be blinded. And we can't have a word with deceit and our craftiness. We need to make sure that we need to tell people, brother, I haven't arrived. All I know is that I got a, I got a, I got a direction to go, but I have not arrived. Outside, I got an issue to work on, huh? Outside of Yeshua, come on, nothing, nothing. I am, I am full of fall. Come on, full of deceit. I am it. full of, of hatred. Come on, void of love. Come on, uh, 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 just, just a heathen. But thanks be the God. glory. Come on now, that He had saw favor. My life mm. and had called me out of the darkness yes into the marvelous light yes and his glory has been revealed come on and yet i stand come on sir <laughs> you, and that, hey look and i like this other scripture that just came to my mind and then oh, that one is that god has not given us a spirit of fear no. but of love power so the sound mind and yet, people need to catch people who try to put you in fear. If, 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 if the, even the politics of the day is to put you in fear, is to tell you that ain't coming from God. Woo! Come on, bro. Man, that's a TikTok for us. It, it just all reveals <laughs> Woo. that he is. It really yes. does. I mean, Come on, and man. I tell people, I was like, man, don't let no demon appear in front of you. <laughs> it, all it does is just it just solidifies exactly come on my, my, my life in, in Christ it, it really does I mean because to, to like 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 the scripture said there was those who walked with him come on and, and fellowship with him yes sir and you know slept by his side and woke with him and, and ate with him and traveled with him and experienced the the, the mighty and wonderful things that he did and listened to his voice and, and could hear the spirit of God come forth through him and they witnessed that and look at how old they were yes. once the Holy Spirit was upon them Woo. and yet let something like that show up in my life and you will definitely see a whole nother level of, of, of Christ in me because it just it, it just solidifies. It does. You know, it, 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 yeah. it, it solidifies. That, that's the best word I could say because right now, you know, uh, my feet sphere mm -hmm. is firming. It's firming. On the right let foundation. Me, let me see something demonic visually. Mm -hmm. the, the problem because is that you can't it, have one without the other. Hey, look, you have people fearful of all these, you know, uh -huh. things, and I'll be like, oh, man, come on. Yeah, and I think that's why the, uh, <laughs> the the Genesis three was saying he came in subtly. Yeah, and he came not to Adam, but came to Eve. Yeah, subtly. Yeah, because Adam, if he came to Adam straight up, I, I think Adam would have. Yeah, no, he'd have put him in his place. <laughs> he would have. I mean, an animal that is under his authority? Come on now. Yeah. You know, who are you talking to me? Come on now. You know, my exactly. Is, this is what it, my, my, my God said. Come on now. 
Because Tab, you're right, Tab, when Tab the devil said, you will shall not surely die. Get, 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 get out, get out. I don't even think it would have got that far. <laughs> I don't think the conversation would have even been as such, you know. Um, he yeah, he wouldn't have approached him. He wouldn't have approached him. He, he, he had already confronted that type of, of, of creature. Yes. Because he named it. He named it. He knew what it was about. Yeah. yeah. God, yeah. God, God, God brought him, brought that animal before him. That, yeah. that being. Yeah. was brought before him and mm -hmm. Adam named it. And, and, and that's why he didn't go to him. Yeah. He went through something that he loved. He and was, that's he what... was a familiar being mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Adam knew it. But wow. Eve, Eve... He loved Eve. Now, now... now <laughs> she was all of that, that... She had no other options. <laughs> yeah, well, this is something that... Uh, that's been on my mind as well. Because male and female created Eve. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So Eve and Adam were already one. They were. And he came and out. Though he removed Eve from mm -hmm. his rib, they were still one. Right. So the information that was in Adam was already in Eve because the genetic code the genetic yeah. Makeup, yeah so yeah. maybe she had already knew but she just didn't have the fullness you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. of what that's she why it came to her yeah that's why it came to her yeah that's all I'm saying I agree with you yeah. so anyway hey let's wrap it up and uh I'll see you uh next week uh if you want to sign in sometime for the week just give me a shout out all right that, that sounds good, but you just be on at various times, bro. <laughs> I know. I said you give me a shout out if you want to. If you want to link up, give yeah. me a shout out. Okay. okay. So when, when I, but you, like I said, but when, like, is there a specific day that you? No, I mean for you, you. Can, I'm gonna go ahead. I was planning on doing the uh, my little mini series of the week on my own, right? And I was gonna set the, uh, and you, never, you already know that, I sent you an invite to that, where and I was in like, oh, like, a, uh, like seven o'clock or something, just uh -huh. just to, to, to do like a quick study myself, yeah. right? Yeah. But if it's in the invite, that way you know, and look, who's way, even if I show up or you have somebody else show up with you, cause it'd be, it'd be scheduled. Just like you come in on this one. Yeah. You get, once you get an invite, you can say, oh, I'll just come in and, and do my thing. If he's there, he's there. If he ain't, I'm gonna do my thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm uh, definitely. I'd love to see you and your wife do like a team thing. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't I, forget I, to record I, it. <laughs> look, all I know is I, I do not even like seeing myself on these. I know you don't. You I, said I really, that many times too. I really, you just. <laughs> no, I know it. You know, I, I, I love being here with you. I love uh, going over the scriptures. I, I love the, the, the fellowship. I love that Christ is here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that Two or three guys is name. It's revealing revelation. Even even in the midst of this time that we're together, I, I truly, truly uh, grow from it. Yes, sir. Iron shopping in iron, ain't it? Yeah, it means a lot to me. Amen. Especially Amen. at this point in my life. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, maybe a little bit on Wednesday or something like that, 7 o'clock. But I probably, I may do it for the whole week because I can just, yeah. then I may pop up when I want to. I don't have to. Uh, I definitely don't th want to, to hinder your your flow. They said, hey, the other thing too is that, you know, the Carols is having a fish fry on the 26th of May. They okay. look like I guess I guess the the, the, the opportunity maybe getting ready to come up that we can go back in that facility. But I tell you what, it's, I have this visceral thought of going back, spending <laughs> that day in there and trying to get my get my uh, badge renewed and all that other stuff. I think you're supposed to be able to do it online. I got to do mine online. Man, if if you I can think do it online, mine, that would be a great thing. If you could find yeah. out about that, but. Driving all the way out there, man. 
I know, I know. Sitting in that class to, for basically information that you in my did. mind is non-value <laughs> added for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ready to get to you, but that's in Tifton, I think, the last time they had it. But no, they're not doing that. You can do online. I think my badge runs out of the 2025, so I my just need to just renew it. Then expired, and then, you know, I mean, they could... And then the fact that we can't go there and then go in and get the badge made then, because they make it and give it to you right then. Right, yeah, the they, yeah, they mail it to you, yeah. They yeah. mailed you yours? They just handed it. They mail it, they mail it, they mail it to you, yeah. Well, uh, and then there's plenty of times where you don't have badges and people still come in. Well, that, when we do that roster, that's what they do, let them come on in. Yeah. So you, you just leave we, your, your ID at the at the desk yep. and you, you go in as a group and then you're counted, you know, you're you're in that number. <laughs> you're in that number. And I think I think sometimes was chaplain taught some classes too yeah. that allowed us to go in. The yeah. Chaplain used to teach classes. So yeah. it'd be interesting, but I'm saying is if you think you might want to go to Fish Fry, it's gonna be that uh that Methodist church in Macon. Yeah, out there in Macon, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I uh I, I I might, I might uh, fellowship. It'd be good to see everybody. Exactly. See what's we, going on. Yeah, for uh, some people. There's, there's, sometimes I have uh, thoughts about ministering to those in there. Um, yeah, I, it'd be hard for me. I don't, <laughs> it's, it's a I don't know how, those, they, how yeah. they would come about about how I would minister those little those different different talks because I just have to bring the truth. <laughs> because the last one, they were like, woo, <laughs> that dude ain't playing. <laughs> hey, I think that's all they want. They want to see somebody be real. Yeah. You know, and, and, you and probably... it, wasn't, it wasn't, it had, man, what I had to say had nothing to do with nobody who was a part of the wall. I know. It was for those who, who were there yeah. in the walk that were yeah. a part of that that prison. And, uh, you know, uh, some people thought it was a little forward, okay. but it was all truth. It was all based on the word. And I can tell you this, the, the spirit was moving on me. Mm. And, and so I know it was effective because it was yeah. not of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Well, the thing don't forget then is that the, because he was there in the midst of us anyway. Um, and if you, you can use the same, if you get that talk again, you can use the same testimony. You know, I, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It might be on this computer or not, but I don't know. But uh, it's just amazing to me how, how I can get up and like when we did the, <laughs> we, we did the practice for, uh, when, you know, we go in and we give our, so that everybody can give you notes and stuff. I just had, like, just the bullets mm. now because I, I had got it late. Somebody yeah. had switched up and asked me to do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, 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 it was the day for you. That's what it was for. Yeah, that, that particular walk was was meant to be for that, that particular moment. That, that talk, not the walk. The walk. That, the that talk. talk was. It, it that, that was, it, though we don't know what people, play, when he's talking about it, we do a Carol's Prison Ministry. <clears throat> and each, each individual, well, at least five or six people or 10, are giving messages. Uh, to teach the inmates. Uh, we know that like 32, right? About 32 inmates in there. And uh, they sign up for it. We, we go in there on a Thursday. We on the all day Friday, all day Saturday, and half a day Sunday. And all we do is fellowship, teach the word of God, teach the principles of the gospel. Uh, they love the food, most cases, first. But in the end, Sunday hit them. A lot of them suddenly hit them, yeah. and uh, they say Christ is real. Well, and I, you yeah. can imagine seeds, they need it. Seeds are planted. I, yes, I know sir. that they Amen. may they they may need some some uh, the 
soil to be tilled and, and some mm -hmm. watering and, and cultivate it. But continually but, cultivate it, yeah. Yeah. But I do yeah. know that their seeds are planted. You can see you can see it. You can see it like like you can see God. It's you God see, moving. It's, you, you see the see miracle, it. of God. Yeah. And uh, you know, some some may be putting on a show or anything, but what we do know is that the word is sown. Yes, sir. And, and that's the key God, to it. And, 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 and Christ is is preached. Mm -hmm. And so. And that's all that matters. Preach. He told us go. That's something I remember the commission to say: go, preach, go, teach the gospel to the whole world. That, that's that's all he told us to do. He tells you that you had to get somebody saved. They can ask for a house salvation, just like Cornelius and all those other people. What was that doing to be saved? Then you should be ready to minister that to them. But he, the whole purpose was to go preach the good news to the world. Not lynching, wake up. Not lying, wake up. Not bring the gospel and the, and the politics together. Wake up. Wake up to teaching the truth. Rise and shine so people can come to the glorious gospel. That's our that's our mission. Let's see if we can do it. And just just remember he died for what, brother? The ungodly. For the ungodly, for this world. Come on, man. And if you don't think you think it, and I know some people think they can get instantly squared away. I ain't one of them. <laughs> yeah, I got, yeah. I, you, you, I got, you, you don't wait till you feel like you right enough. <laughs> that ain't gonna never happen. <laughs> it ain't gonna never happen. And the sad thing about it, when you slip and fail, most of them end up leaving. Well, I'm, I don't mess up now, so I'm just going. Yeah. Well, that happens, that happens immediately because even the scriptures say, he comes for the word, say. Yeah. Immediately after a song, he's there. Mm -hmm. He comes for the word. So, I mean, even with me, you know, as, as on fire as I was when I, I, I received Christ as my Lord and Savior, man, couldn't wait to tell everybody. It wasn't 24 hours before the enemy was there telling me how much of a wretched person I was, mm -hmm. how I was not saved. So, it, he, 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 <laughs> Don't think he ain't gonna he ain't gonna come. You gonna know. He comes. He comes to your family and everything else. Yeah. But go ahead. God bless you. Amen. Yeah. See, I may do a quick uh, wrap up on this while you gone. Just to, I may put that in front. Tell them that you said wake up. You think said wake up. I said may the Christians wake up. Just wake it's up. Time to be woke. <laughs> okay. Wake up. All right, bro. Have All a right. good one. All right. Be blessed. Bye. You bet, bye bye. See you here. All right, say, the, the, let me make sure I'm, not, I'm still alive. And I just want to say, wrap up in here, we're going to change the title to Wake Up. I'm going to tell you something like that, but wake up, but Christians need to be woke, you know, because we need to recognize that the God is world has blinded, has bewitched believers so that they start trying to be perfect in the flesh, and you're not going to be perfect in the flesh. It's never been about the flesh. It's about the spirit. So let's do that. Let's focus on operating. That, that goes with John 8 uh, saying is, to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be caught in mind is death. Let's, let's focus on being spiritually minded and perfecting ourselves in the spirit, not in the flesh. Because our flesh slips up and fall over and over again. It's not, it's not a question of whether that happens. Amen? All right. Well, God bless you. I hope you enjoy the message. And we'll see you when we see you. Amen. God bless you. All right, I'll take, take later. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.